windowing systems. What other interface strategies would we be using instead? Our research groups at the University of New Mexico and New York University have been looking at alternatives to the Windows, Icons, Menus, and Pointer, or WIMP interface metaphor that has become so prevalent. We have been exploring a novel user interface paradigm based on zooming. The interface metaphor we present is that of a huge planar information surface where documents can be placed not only at any position, but also scale to any size. Zooming user interfaces, or ZUIs, are exciting to us because they present a possible solution to problems that plague traditional Windows-based user interfaces. Scale provides a natural way to organize hierarchical information. One way of thinking about ZUIs is that all the information you need is there if you look closely enough. To explore these kinds of interfaces, we built a zooming graphics engine called Pad++. This system is novel in that it brings together a unique combination of features and supports smoothly animated zooming of large data sets using off-the-shelf PC class hardware. In this short video, we demonstrate Pad++ by showing some visualizations and application demos, including a drawing program, a World Wide Web graphical history map called PadPrints, and Gray Matters, a hypertext fiction centered on the human body. Now we are going to look at PadPrints, an application written with Pad++ that provides a graphical history mechanism for the World Wide Web. PadPrints keeps track of what pages you've looked at in your regular web browser. As you follow links, PadPrints builds up a tree that shows the structure of the portion of the web you visited. If you revisit a page, PadPrints highlights the page you're on, helping you to build an understanding of the web. You can use PadPrints to help you visit web pages you've already visited. Clicking on one of the icons drives your web browser to that page. Because 60% of the pages people visit are repeat visits, it is important to provide mechanisms to make it easy for people to do this. We are in the middle of performing user studies that have already shown that PadPrints reduces the number of pages people look at to perform a given task. In addition, most subjects prefer using PadPrints to traditional text-based history mechanisms. Gray Matters is a hypertext fiction created by a group of writers, artists, and programmers at New York University's Media Research Lab. It is a loosely coupled fiction centered around the human body. Clicking on any party part brings you to that section of the story, while clicking in the periphery brings you out one level. This is an experiment in alternative forms of hypertext. By adding space and animated graphics to hypertext, it adds a new dimension, bringing a sense of place to the story. In this brief video, we demonstrated Pad++, a system for creating applications and visualizations in a zooming environment. Zooming user interfaces offer the opportunity to visualize information in new ways, offering rich interaction and context. Pad++ is freely available for non-commercial use for Unix and Windows systems. It can be downloaded from the web at www.cs.unm.edu slash pad plus plus.